principal object on display is this wonderful wedding dress designed by Sarah Burton at Alexander McQueen for Her Royal Highness. Um, but there are many more things to see as part of the display. Um, there's a specially uh, commissioned film that we made with Sarah Burton in which she describes um, to camera for the first time the whole design process, um, the inspiration for the design, and also how the dress was actually put together. Um, there's also a wonderful panel of um, a work in progress for some of the lace embroidery on the display. Um, there are edited highlights of the actual royal wedding footage and also the marvellous um, uh, wedding cake created by Fiona Cairns for their royal highnesses. Um, and added to that, a replica of um, the bouquet made by Shane Connolly and the wonderful diamond and gold earrings which were commissioned by Mr and Mrs Middleton for their daughter um, for the occasion of the wedding. And it really is a story of great British design, this wonderful dress. Um, it was designed by Sarah Burton, who's creative director at Alexander McQueen, and she worked very, very closely with the Duchess in um, deciding the shape and the style, the colour, all the different components of how the dress should look. And um, Alexander McQueen also worked very closely with the Royal School of Needlework, who were responsible for the lace applique on the dress. So it was very much a collaboration, pooling wonderful uh, creative and craftsmanship talents alive in Britain today. The intricacy is also seen on the beautiful veil. And the veil is really a very soft and romantic um, veil. And in a sense also very modest because a, one could have had a veil that went the entire length of the train as we've seen in other royal wedding dresses. But here the Duchess's choice was to have something more modest, which very much fits in with the scale and shape of the dress so that the veil falls on a panel of plain fabric at the back, exactly between two areas of detailed embroidery. So everything's so carefully thought out and so beautifully put together. And the veil is of silk tulle and it's embroidered all the way around the edges with, again, this wonderful lace applique. Um, it is a very beautiful tiara. Obviously, it's made of platinum and diamonds. It was made by Cartier in 1936 and um, purchased by King George VI as a present for Queen Elizabeth, then, of course, Duke and Duchess of York. The, the shoes, which um, Her Royal Highness wore on the day of the wedding, are um, completely coordinated with the dress, but, of course, we didn't actually see them on the day, so it's a real treat to see them here on display alongside the replica of her bouquet. And they're indeed covered in the same fabric as the dress, so the ivory satin gazar, and this is similarly um, to the dress, appliqued with the lace, and all of that work was done by the Royal School of Needlework. The design of the earrings, which were um, commissioned specially by Mr and Mrs Middleton for their daughter for the occasion of the wedding, um, they very much are in, inspired, in a way, by the design of the halo tiara. The designers, Robinson Pelham, um, knew that the Duchess was going to wear this tiara, so they had an idea of the shape and the form and the scale of it. And this, I think, informed, um, to a certain extent, their design for the earrings. But otherwise, the earrings are very much pay reference to the Middleton family coat of arms. So they're composed of an oak leaf from which is suspended a pear drop, and hanging and articulated within the pear drop are two uh, acorns. And um, so they very much are closely related to the tiara, but also very personal to the family. The Duchess wanted her wedding cake to be a traditional fruit cake in cream and white icing, very much using flowers from the language of flowers. So the Duchess drew up her list including 17 flowers. Also the, using the garlands in, in the picture gallery where the wedding cake was originally and also to include the national, the, four, the flowers of the four nations. We were given a little piece of lace which I wondered if it was the lace but I wasn't told that but we've iced some of the lace pattern on the top tier as you can see and the bottom. We used a lot of lily of the valley, which I think were, you, well, they were used throughout the wedding in the bouquet and in the decoration in the abbey. The Duchess and I discussed it, as you can imagine, several times, and the inspiration really was, was the dress, the lace and simplicity of the dress, the lace being ornate, the simplicity of the pattern, really, and uh, that it shouldn't be some huge statement, that it should be something very personal. The, the Lily of the Valley, they 
were in her mother's wedding bouquet, so that was special. Very much a favorite flower of hers. Totally seasonal, because that was the other thing that we wanted to use flowers that were totally seasonal and English grown. So Lily of the Valley was the perfect choice for that time of year. And in the language of flowers, it symbolizes the return of happiness and contentment. So it's very suitable for a wedding. <laughs>